If you're remodeling your RV, you probably have noticed that every window in your RV has a corner. And eventually your corner probably want to do some kind of woodwork around these corners. So today I'm going to show you how to calculate the radius and how to use that to template your cut. All right, let's get started. Okay, so today my project is building a custom headboard over the bed in our master bedroom. And there is a window right above our bed. So my woodworking is going right around the window. So to cut out for the window, the first thing I had to do was figure out what the radius of the corner was. So today I wanna to first show you how to figure out the radius. Now, if you own a framing square, all you have to do is put the framing square right into the corner of the window and where the window touches the square on both sides is the, what your calculation is. Now, if you're like most of us, you don't own a framing square. You might not even know what a framing square is, but don't worry, you don't have to go out and buy one right now. What you can use is a piece of paper. And a piece of paper is great because a piece of paper also has a 90 degree corner. And what you do is take your piece of paper and you line it up with the window. And you want to line up the sides, the straight sides with the top and the side of your window. And what you're looking for after you have lined it up is to find where the window starts to disappear behind the piece of paper. And then all you have to do, you can see my marks, is measure the piece of paper. And I have three and a half inches on this side, and same here, three and a half inches. So my radius of my corner is three and a half inches. Now I can take that radius and move over to my piece of wood and calculate out my corner. All right, let's jump over to the piece of wood. Okay, so now I'm over at the piece of wood that I'm going to be uh, cutting. And I'm working on drawing my template for my window so I know where to cut out. So to get started, what I originally did was I had an original uh, cut point that I came in from the top and this is to the top of the window. Now I chose this location because of how I want my pattern to uh, fall. So we're going to be doing crosses uh, as a crisscross pattern uh, with one by two across the top of this utility uh, quarter inch utility board. And this location is where I'm going to put one of my uh, boards. Now what I would chose for this point was the thirds of the whole uh, board across the whole back wall and this third point is two feet into the board. So I use this starting point to figure out the rest of the lines for my cut and what I did was take, so let's imagine this is the real window that's up on the wall. I took my straight edge and I put my straight edge on the outside edge of the window so it's straight all the way across. And I went from my original cut point and measured all the way to that straight edge. And almost acting like it's a perfectly squared rectangular window. And I got this measurement and I drew that line out here so that you have your, looks like a rectangled window and then what I do next is take my radius that I calculated with the piece of paper and I back in that three and a half inches and make a mark. And then I came to the other side and did the same thing here and made another mark here of three and a half inches on both. And then what I would need next is my compass and what I'll do with my compass is line up to make sure my compass is at three and a half inches 
and then I rotate it in and make a mark here. And then same thing on this side, make sure it's three and a half inches and make a mark on this side as well. And I end up with this intersection. Now from the intersection, I reverse the compass and I go out to the outer mark, which is three and a half inches. And I draw right across to my other three and a half inch mark and I get the exact corner radius here. Yeah. Now that I've cut out my woodwork, here's the final result of the headboard. And as you can see, if we get close here, you can see right here is where my cut was for getting my woodwork around the window. Now you have a room for error because most likely you're going to hide your work with some kind of window casing. Now, if you don't hide your work, you're gonna to have to make sure you're very precise on your cut. Make sure that when you template for the window, that everything is squared out and that you're level and you're exactly like the window will be on the wall to make sure that this cut here is a perfect cut around the window. Now, if you're gonna add a piece of casing, you don't have to do as much work and you have a little room to make room for cutting. And also, most likely, your slide out is not quite nearly as square as you might think, and you have room to actually move the piece of wood around and work your way around the window. Now, why would I take that much effort in making sure to cut out for my window? Well, as you can see, I ran these boards across the one by quarter uh, utility board that I use in the back. Well, the last thing I want is for all my wood cutting to show up in the field of the headboard. So this allows me to make something that I can cut out around the window without those cuts being visible in the woodworking, which is what most craftsmen are trying to do. They want something, a finished product that doesn't show all their work. Okay, so if you guys got any comments or questions, please comment below. And of course, for any do-it-yourself project, the best thing to do is research because that can always save you time and money. Like they always say, you measure twice, cut once. And that's very true, especially when it comes to planning and doing projects yourself. Okay, guys, we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.